Hey, it's Tequisha with Our Freedom Song, and I'm out here and I am just checking out these vines and I'll give you a look at what they look like right now. Okay, so I was gonna wait before I tried to make the pot more of a permanent situation, but it doesn't really look like it's doing too great. Like some of these leaves are turning brown and I'm giving it plenty of water and so I'm just wondering really if it's just time to come out of this pot and so today I am going to be making it a permanent home I definitely don't want to do any like take the time and the and spend the money to invest in these things and then neglect you know neglect them in any way or don't give them what they need and so I definitely want to um, go ahead and give them room to grow and go ahead and amend the soil, give them some good fertilizer so that they could be all they could be. They could be great. <laughs> I want to see them be great. And so um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be creating a bamboo planter box for our things in the front, our vines on that cattle panel over there as well as this one. And I'm gonna create a bamboo planter um, for each one for each side so that they can um, get the things that they need and so that's what I'm up to if I decide to do anything else I'll definitely capture that it is a hot day let me tell you when I tell you it is hot it is a hot one out here and I know it's best to really get out early in the morning and then after the Sun goes down but sometimes you just can't help it sometimes it's just it's convenient um, to get out, you know, in the middle of the day. That's when you have the time to do it. And um, I really want to do that. I really want to also try to figure out what this walkway is going to be. I did find some um, reclaimed bricks. I think I was saying that in one of my other videos, but I found some reclaimed bricks that I got for, um, for free. And so I would really love to use that because free is like the best price there is. And so if I can make that work, I wanna make it work. And then I just love reusing things. And um, yeah, it's just super economical. And I, I just love, I love it. I love when I can take one thing that was old or thrown away and, and create something that's useful for my family. And so, um, so hopefully I'll get to doing that today as well and you'll see some footage of me probably just trying to figure out how the bricks can work in there. Um, I'm really tired of it being like a mud. Um, it's, it turns to mud, so it's dirt. <laughs> and it kind of turns to mud like each day like as I'm watering the garden. And then when I'm stepping in there, it's just becoming muddy. And so I just want to go ahead and solidify what our pathway is gonna be. I want to, want to, want to use these um, bricks you know and that's my hope is that I can use something that didn't cost me anything and um, that's beautiful to reuse and so that is my hope so let's see if I'm able to accomplish that today the second one on this trellis is looking pretty good I haven't noticed a lot of growth though yet and it's been over here for you know I think probably a couple weeks and so it's still green and looking good but no growth and so I'm thinking that I need to fertilize and really give them a good home so that they can grow well. So we have a pretty good pile already of bamboo that we've already cut. So this bamboo is already cut and ready to go so we just have to find some that are going to be the size that we need. Okay speaking of bamboo, you guys saw as we um, harvested all of this area of bamboo we still have a patch right there um, so this is not the only bamboo on our property this just so happens to be along the side of our house but we actually have bamboo that goes all the way in the back of our property as well as on the other side of our property and so um, because this is just so close to the garden we are really actually considering um, uprooting this section of bamboo um, we're looking into um, seeing if somebody can come and give us a quote because bamboo runs very deep and so we're trying to see if there's someone who can come and actually dig this bamboo up because it's 
it's right here <laughs> and we have more um, we have a lot more bamboo and so if we could use this space to um, extend the garden and maybe put a greenhouse here this would be like ideal this is like the ideal spot and so we'll see okay I'm taking a look at this um, and um, I have a few pieces here and I'm thinking based off of these three right here that it probably needs to be about six bamboo high I think double that would give it enough you know would give it a good look I don't know though either five or six I think I'm gonna go five or six bamboo high for our garden box okay so I'm just coming over here to see if there are some good pieces that are just pieces that we can put into the ground to slide the other bamboo into place I'll show you exactly what that looks like but um, if I could find some of these that are already just small um, small enough and I don't have to you know get out the chop saw and chop them that would be fantastic and so it looks like if I could find eight pieces I would be good it's four so far I said about an inch Let's go back right here that's a, a more than an inch like an inch look about right here like this should fit in there. Go closer. I guess I don't want it to be this big. We could just use that as a spacer every time. So that's good. Wait, is that even? I think it has to come a little bit. We want it even. Oh, yeah. It's straight. It's going straight up. Seems like it's not even. It's like right there. Okay. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, somewhere new, somewhere I can find myself Okay, so I just want to say how I love, absolutely love these zip ties. They're nice because they're reusable. Um, they're reusable. So you just hit this button and they come out. Like I, I've, maybe this is basic and y'all know, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I, I did not know that uh, zip, like, zip ties came like this where you could use it and then, um, you know, just undo it, so. Yeah. <laughs>
that is what I am doing over here. I decided that I'm going to um, add a zip tie to connect them both together to really make it um, really firm if I zip tie both of these together. In bad times, I know I'll be okay. Cause I found my way. Y'all could just call me the zip tie queen because I'm over here zip tying all the things. I am going to clip that and make that one shorter. Okay, so what I am planning to do now is I am going to... Since I have plastic under here, I'm going to be removing like pretty much slicing out this area and then tilling the ground and then adding soil there that these are going to be planted into. So that's what I'm going to be doing right there. Um, I'm going to make another one of these things for the back. It'll just be closer um, and so that it can be a bed or a box. My way, my way. going to do is I have just kind of tilled the ground using this and it actually it was beneficial that I had that plastic down because the the soil or the dirt or whatever <laughs> down there is um it's so soft and it wasn't soft before it was very hard and so just the time period of having that um, plastic down there with the different um, rain and then water in it and all the things with the heat it is definitely like was very soft and pliable and so now i'm going to add some um azomite and some blood meal to the areas that i'm going to be planting in and i'm also going to add some um some soil there and so it should be nice and ready for us to transplant these grapes i found my way i found my way in bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way
stuck against it all But made it through the day Cause I find my way I find my way In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way Okay, here is the simple bamboo planter. And so this idea can be used. It's super simple. And if I wanted to make a box, like a planter box, like I plan to in the future, all I would do is add another one of these, but this way to enclose it, to make a rectangle, if that makes sense. So this would be very easy to just customize. I didn't need that right here, so I didn't do it. Um, since I wasn't going to fill the whole thing up with dirt, I was just going to try with soil. <laughs> I'm learning to say soil. Okay, so I think that it's just so nice, so simple. It's so clean. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't, um, it still looks very beautiful. The aesthetic is very pleasing to me. Um, it doesn't make me feel like my garden is junky now because I have, you know, some bamboo there. Um, there it looks very elegant. And so I, well, elegant's probably not the word, but um, it looks good to me. <laughs> Okay, that is all that I have for at least right now because it has been so hot out here, but I'm so happy that um, we have this finished and the plants are in. I feel really good about that. I may come back out later and go ahead and start on that other side. We'll have to just see how that goes. Uh, I'm ready to take a break and to um, have something cold to drink and just relax. But um, I did not get to the brick yet. I might come back out to that later as well. So I guess we will just see um, later on um, if I'm able to do that or not. But like always, I'm so glad that you guys are here and you're following along on our journey. I appreciate every single one of you and all of your comments and so much encouragement. And it just blesses our hearts so much. And so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for that. And I'll talk to you guys later.